Hey, good evening. My name is Megan Strange, and it's my privilege and honor to be the upper school principal at North Cobb Christian. And I'd like to officially welcome you to our virtual underclassmen awards presentation. And uh, we are just so proud of all of our students, our faculty, our parents. This has just been a remarkable season. And uh, just right off the bat, uh, I just really wanna say just how encouraged I have been in the way that everybody has responded. You know, when we gathered last as an upper school community on Friday, March the 13th, none of us, could have had any idea about what these weeks and months would ultimately hold. But on that day, we shared Colossians 1.17, talking about Jesus, it says, he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And as we look back over this season, we can claim that truth has never left us. The Lord himself has never wavered. He has never been absent. He has uh, given us so much in this time. And I wanna let you know that I'm just so grateful for the way everybody has made the most of this. Uh, we recently had a faculty meeting and our teachers were sharing praise after praise of the way that their students have risen to the occasion. It's been fun for me as my family has made uh, safe, socially distanced uh, trips to the grocery store and things like that or out and about here in Ackworth. I've, I've seen so many of you walking, running, biking. I've seen pictures of kids reading in hammocks and baking. And I wanna let you know, I think if there's been a gift in this season, it's been time. Time is something when you think about May in a normal school year, it's, it's just crazy busy. It's just the nature of closing things up. But I'm so grateful for this gift of time that we've had. And most of all, I hope for our families that it has been a sweet time together. I hope that we can all look back on the spring of 2020 and say that we really made the most of that season. For, for our freshmen, you have risen to the occasion and picked up some life skills that may or may not normally happen during the ninth grade. For our sophomores and our juniors, I love the way that you have been so thoughtful of your classmates. You know, a lot of times we've been talking about how we can pray for the seniors, how we can lift them up. And I want you to know, as I've met with the seniors, they've been asking me, how can they pray for you? How can they lift you up? And I want you to know, above all, that's what we're hoping for here at North Cobb Christian School. When we gathered on March 13th, I had zero concerns about the academics. Your teachers are incredible. I knew that they would have creative ways to share with you the material that you need to assess you in ways that are very appropriate. But what we have so enjoyed in this time is the way that people have cared for one another, the way they've looked out for one another. You know, I've heard from so many parents who have talked about, they've, they've walked into their child's room or to the kitchen when they're on Zoom or when they're on Google Meet, and, and they've heard teachers who have not just generally said, how are you today, but they've specifically gone square by square asking, how are you? How did that end up turning out with your grandmother? You know, I heard you got a dog, I'm so excited. And then the dog comes to join the class, right? We've had dogs in class. We've had siblings in class. We've enjoyed your beautiful living rooms and dining rooms. We've enjoyed parents when you have accidentally walked into a Zoom and you did not know your child was Zooming. And we love how kind of that goes. We also have loved watching you bring breakfast to your kids while you're there online. And we've enjoyed sometimes watching your kids go, you know, I'm, I'm in class, mom, I'm in class. Good news. After tomorrow, tomorrow, the last day of school, Friday, May 15th, I think we can all step back from our Zooms and uh, really just enjoy each other's company. But I really wanna compliment you. Parents, we talk a lot about the partnership and our faculty and staff have just done an amazing job of putting together some creative things for this time. But parents, we wanna say thanks so much for jumping in and partnering with us too. Some of you have attended our classes. I've heard from a lot of senior parents about how much they learned from personal finance. And uh, I agree, that's a great class to tune into. But we are proud of you guys. I just, uh, I hope that any time that you are around me, you hear me bragging about our faculty and staff, um, but this season in particular has really shown they are experts, they are professionals, and more than anything, they love the Lord and they want to serve your students well. So as we celebrate our virtual underclassmen awards day. I want you to know I'm so grateful for our faculty and staff and I thank you for the way you've shown your appreciation and continue to do that as well. As we present our awards, 
in this format. Please know that a number of our honor societies have already been recognized at different things throughout the year, our National Honor Society, Beta Club, those types of things. So um, we want pull aside for those tonight because we've done that. Our seniors, we're very excited. We'll be celebrating them in July and our senior families have some more information tentatively. Our uh, baccalaureate will be on Wednesday, July the 8th. We're hoping to be able to host that right here at North Cobb Christian School and then graduation will be on Friday, July the 10th. So thank you so much for praying and cheering on our seniors to the finish line and we'll be celebrating our senior awards as a part of baccalaureate. And uh, our hope tonight as we go through and we celebrate different things, we want to celebrate the right things. And we know that we're never able to see all the different things that our students are involved in, but our goal is to highlight some of the things that are the right things. Uh, I heard a quote one time that they said to recognize and celebrate the things that you'd like to be repeated. So as a school, our hope and our vision is to work together, cultivating hearts, challenging minds, and impacting culture. And tonight, we're going to celebrate some areas where we've seen that happen. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoy celebrating our students. One thing we've learned during this pandemic is nothing can replace being together in person. And we'll certainly all be thankful for that when we can be back together. But we sure do appreciate hearing some familiar voices and seeing some familiar faces. So throughout our awards tonight, you're going to see a few videos from some of our favorite teachers and coaches, just so you can see their face, hear their voice. Some of these will be inspirational. Some of them will be funny, and a few might contain some inside jokes, and even one contains a song. So we hope you'll enjoy hearing from some of our faculty and staff. Hey, guys. just wanted to say I am missed you guys so much uh, seeing y'all in person every day in class and um, I hope you'll have a great summer um, just stay safe and I cannot wait to see you all again in the fall uh, and for all the seniors that I've taught this year uh, come by and say hey before y'all head off to do such amazing great things and I just I really love and miss you guys and uh, can't wait to see you all soon uh, God bless bye and now we want to take a moment to recognize perfect attendance. And for some of you guys, these last uh, eight weeks has provided an opportunity to perfectly attend school from your living room in your pajamas. And that's great too. But we also want to recognize those students that from the beginning of the year through when we uh, headed out on our COVID-19 break had perfect attendance. And that means perfect attendance every class period of every day. And that's quite a remarkable accomplishment. Just showing up. So I want to take a moment just to recognize those students. And I always like to challenge them. Tomorrow's the last day of school. Please don't miss it. I'm counting on you to finish strong. So this year for perfect attendance, Lucas Ayers, Ava Crook, Abby Fortney, Kevin Garcia, John Gorski, Garrett Hamilton, Jarrett Hanley, Ben Hollers, Sally Kim, Quinn McCardle, Maggie Phillips, Hannah Reed, Jalen Reed, Lourdes Scott, Justin Smith, Sabina Tong, Tanya Vasilieva, John Waterman, Nate Watson, Molly Wooldridge, and Agnes Young. Way to go. Man, I miss y'all. I miss seeing you guys in the hallway. I miss giving you guys hugs and, and telling you how much I love you. But I want you to know that I love you. So y'all can save this video and then that way you'll know I love you all the time. Uh, but I just wanted to send you guys all my love, all my prayers. I'm super proud of y'all. Y'all, there are like kids out there that have literally like fallen to pieces and you guys have knocked it out of the park. I am so excited for y'all. I'm so proud of you. I want you to know I'll be praying for you over the summer. I can't wait to see you guys when we start back next school year and I know it's gonna be amazing sign up for French come to come visit me in my classroom when we get back but man I love y'all and I'm so proud of y'all have a good one be good take walks like me it's my lonely hallway <laughs> and have a good summer bye guys ciao I'm dr. Hedges and I'm here to talk about mock trial mock trial is a national program administered in our area by the Georgia Bar Association the Georgia Mock Trial Competition helps students gain an understanding of the legal system by providing opportunities for school teams 
to participate in academic competitions where players assume attorney and witness roles in a court case. Lawyers coach students in developing questioning, critical thinking, and oral advocacy skills. This year's team members were Hope Bless, Alexis Bobekian, Olivia Hill, Olivia Huang, Mason Morrow, Bradley Scott, Makaya Williams, and Kara West. This year, we took our team up to Cartersville for the competition, and two of our teammates won individual awards at the regional competition. Makaya Williams won Best Witness, and Nicholas Bird won Best Attorney. Our court artist, Kara West, won the regional championship and was invited to compete on the next level. This year, we have just one new inductee into the Law Honor Society, Nicholas Bird. To qualify for this honor, Nicholas has completed several law-related activities outside NCCS in addition to his two years on mock trial. Nicholas will be sporting a purple cord at graduation to mark this honor. In closing, I would like to thank our administration for providing this opportunity for our students. I would also like to thank our volunteer attorney coach, Mr. Jason Kano. And we also had an outstanding parent who helped us, uh, Mrs. Tina D'Agostino. Thank you very much for your hard work. What's going on, guys? Just wanted to shoot a quick video, let y'all know I was thinking about you. As you see, I'm outside once again. I've been fishing, walking, walking, and fishing. Playing a little golf too here and there, but just want to drop you a note, let you know I miss y'all. Uh, miss harassing y'all in the hallways, having y'all harass me. I just want to let you know that how valuable you are, not only to me, but to all of us here at NCCS. So. We look forward to a time that we can get back together with you all and just hug your necks and see you. Hope all is well. If there's anything you need or I can do for you, please email me, reach out to me. Sending peace and love to all of you. Our next recognition is for honor rolls. And for our honor rolls, we have three different honor rolls here at North Cobb Christian School that we recognize in the upper school. And our honor rolls go through the very end of the school year. So tomorrow's grades will be a part of that and we will finalize our grades early next week. But our first honor roll is the Eagles honor roll. And that represents all A's in all subjects on both semester and exam grades. That's our highest honor roll. When you look at that report card, you only see A's. Of course, we're not having exams this spring, but I really wanna congratulate those students um, as they finish up on the Eagles Honor Roll. And if that pertains to you, you'll receive your certificate with your report card. Our Principal's A Honor Roll means that that student got only A's for all of their semester grades and then only A's or B's for exams. And so we want to congratulate those folks. You've worked hard on that as well. And then our next level and final honor roll is our principal's AB honor roll. And what that goes for is for our students who have only A's or B's on all of their semester grades. And so I wanna encourage you right now in your living room or on your kitchen counter or wherever it is that you're watching this, if you are on one of those honor rolls, I just wanna encourage you to stand so that your family can applaud your efforts. So we're proud of you guys. And again, wanna encourage you to finish strong tomorrow with that last day of grades. We're proud of you guys. Many of you have set a goal to be on one of these honor rolls and you have seen that goal come to fruition. So we're proud of you, proud of your hard work. Thank you. Hey guys, just want to take a time out from working on all my TikTok moves and uh, updating my YouTube channel and um, keeping all those uh, snap streaks alive. I'll tell you how much I really miss you guys. Um, you know, it's been an odd year in uh, comparison to some of the other times we've had, but uh, I really appreciate everything you've done. I hope you're going to have a great summer, and uh, most of all, I want you to know I love you, and even more importantly, God loves you. Thanks for letting me be your teacher. No cap. Hi, I'm Beth Wright, Director of Admissions, and it is my honor to present the Eagle Ambassadors. Eagle Ambassadors are among North Cobb Christian's finest students who consider it an honor to serve their school. Eagle Ambassadors must complete an application and be interviewed through the admissions office. These students host perceptive students, allowing them to shadow for a day, 
lead school tours at open house events, and volunteer for PTF and several other functions throughout the year. The following students served on our Eagle Ambassador team for the 2019-2020 school year. Bethany Akinola, Jessica Alexander, Yvonne Blankson, Grace Brasington, Rebecca Brown, Natalie Bird, Annika Klingman, Kayla Klingman, Riley Klingman, Michael Kordak, Ava Crook, Abby Fortney, Brianna Garcia, John Gorski, Gracie Granado, Blake Gregson, Palmer Heath, Elizabeth Hicks, Chloe Hildreth, McKenna Luca, Bryson Maycumber, Mason Morrow, Kennedy Oglesby, Isabel Ogier, Caitlin Parker, Riley Pete Meyer, Hayden Porter, Hallie Puckett, Dalen Rediger, Hannah Reed, Finley Ross, Becca Scheidt, Lorda Scott, Shelby Smith, Allie Stroud, Arda Tabrizi, Micah Takimoto, Rachel Turnbow, Sophia Turnbow, Abby Turner, Rebecca Van Kirk, Chastity Vieira, Bailey Wells, Bitten Williams, and Blair Zoo. Thank you to all of our Eagle Ambassadors. Uh, hi, I'm Mr. Arnold. Uh, I teach American literature to the juniors. And I'm Amy Wallace, and I teach chorus and academy singers. Um, this year, we are the sponsors of the GHSA Lit Meet. Um, we are excited to see both new and returning students um, competing this year. Last year, we saw great success, and that continued this year as well. Um, in oral interpretation, we are in second place, uh, or Rebecca Van Kirk are in second place. Um, for the humorous category. Uh, in the dramatic category of oral interpretation, Michaela Williams also earned second place. For trio, uh, Mariah Fungawing, Lindsay Nichols, and Anna Kate Womack earned second place. And in quartet, Evan Arp, Parker Coleman, Caleb Crumley, and Ben Hoff also earned second place. Hey everyone. We love and miss you, super proud of you this semester, and my boys want to give you a special message. Whoa! We're Jack Randall, and we just caught these monster snakes. Have, have a great time while you're at it, and then have a great summer! Love you guys, miss you so much. Can't wait to see you in August. Super proud of what you've done this year. Continue to work hard as if you're working for the Lord. Love you guys. Our next recognition is for the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Award. Uh, the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Foundation was started in 1958. They call it the Hobie, and their mission is to inspire and to develop our global community of youth and volunteers to a life dedicated to leadership, service, and innovation. And for us at North Cobb Christian, honestly, our, obviously our hope would be that that is through the lens of following Christ in those. The uh, Hugh O'Brien Leadership Conference is conducted annually throughout the United States. It serves both local and international high school students as they have a chance to participate in unique leadership training, service learning, and motivation building experiences. And each year we have the opportunity to select a deserving sophomore who will rep represent North Cobb Christian at Hobie. And this year, our representative will be Anna Sward. Congratulations, Anna. Hi students, I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of each of you. I've taught many of you in either sixth, seventh, or ninth grade, or a combination of a couple grades. And it's been a joy to watch you grow as an individual, as a student, um, and just develop your passions um, the way that God has led you um, to do that. And I just wanted to leave you with a quote. It's one of my favorites. Um, it says, every experience God gives, every person he puts in our lives is the perfect preparation for the future that only he can see. Um, and no matter where, where you're at in your journey, if you're still going to be at NCCS or you're graduating or God is leading you somewhere, um, 
that he has a plan and he loves you and it's so special that um, I've been a part of that and all of the teachers um, have been a part of your life and we are so blessed and so thankful for that um, and I just love you. Hi my name is Courtney Stewart and I teach world history here at North Cobb Christian School. I also have the opportunity of working with the Global Impact Team. So North Cobb Christian School uh, welcomes a number of international students to our upper school and our middle school every year. As a part of our mission to impact culture, we recognize the opportunity that our international students provide to grow our understanding of the world. The North Cobb Christian Global Impact Program is made up of 24 students that have committed to being intentional in forming relationships with students from different cultures. This group has helped with new international student orientation, organized cultural celebrations, as well as other events to bring our students closer. This is the second year of the Global Impact Program, and these students have cast a great vision for the future of NCCS. We're recognizing our underclassmen tonight, and we have nine seniors to honor in July. So our underclassmen who worked with the Global Impact Program this year were Alex, Alexis Bulbekian, Rachel Shaparo, Joshua Clay, Mac Dempsey, John Gorski, Palmer Heath, Katie Minna, Mason Morrow, Izzy Auger, Anna Sward, Rachel Turnbow, Sophia Turnbow, Bailey Wells, Micaiah Williams, and Blair Shue. Hey everybody, I just wanted to reach out and let you know that I'm so proud of you for this year. I know that this year has been filled with a lot of things that you did, simply did not expect, but you truly have risen to the occasion and all of the awards and accolades that you're receiving at the end of this year I've just got to say, I'm so, so, so proud of you, how you've risen above this season and truly um, put your heart and soul into your work. Um, what an amazing thing to be proud of. So know that you guys have our love and our support, and we're so excited for all that God has for you for next year. Good evening. I'm Karen Bollinger, a college counselor here at North Cobb Christian School. Um, I have the privilege to be able to announce a few academic awards. Um, the first one has to do with AP Scholar. Every fall, the AP program recognizes high school students who have demonstrated outstanding college-level achievement through their performance on multiple AP exams. AP Scholar Awards come in different levels and types. The following students earn the AP Scholar Award for earning a three or higher on three or more AP exams. Congratulations to Brian Arp, Nicholas Byrd, Robert Lang, Eddie Lee, Jeremiah Parker, and Jerry Hsu. To earn the AP Scholar with Honor level, a student receives an average score of at least 3.25 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on four or more of these exams. Congratulations to Aiden Dirty. To reach the AP Scholar with Distinction level, a student receives an average score of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more of these exams. Two of our students earned the AP Scholar with Distinction Award. Congratulations to June Beck and Hallie Meyer. Our next academic recognition is the Georgia Certificate of Merit. The Georgia Certificate of Merit is awarded from the University of Georgia to students in recognition of outstanding scholastic achievement throughout the first uh, three years of high school by ranking in the top 5% of the junior class. Congratulations to these Juniors, Isaiah Carter, Michael Kordak, Arda Tabrizi, Micah Takamoto, and Nate Watson. Congratulations to these high-flying eagles. Amigos, me escuchan. It has been a great year in Espanol. In Spanish 1, we start off the year with an important question. Puedo ir al baño. And in Spanish 2, we started, my students came back with amnesia. But we learned a lot of Spanish, and I'm super impressed with all your comprehension and your ability to use the language. Now, Espanol needs to go out into the world. El frente de, detrás de, al lado de, entre, a la derecha, a la izquierda, a la derecha, a la izquierda. El frente de, detrás de, al lado de, entre, a la derecha, a la izquierda, a la derecha. 
Hello, my name is Chuck Smith. And I'm Sarah Cook, and we are the Upper School Student Government Sponsors. We've truly enjoyed being sponsors this year for student government, and we're here today to make some recognitions and talk a little bit about student government here at our year's end. Um, our student government is comprised of 30 students selected by their classmates, and this year we had a great time participating in a number of activities and coordinating a number of activities that were geared towards building relationships and helping community grow in Christ. Uh, we had several activities, uh, such as hosting Meet the Teacher. Uh, during the fall, we had our homecoming and second annual bonfire and dance. In January, we did our first Winterfest, Spirit Week, which was a lot of fun. We had a Sadie Hawkins dance as well, which was fun. Um, the student government is committed to giving classmates opportunities to serve and lead in a variety of ways. Um, the students were great in that they were willing to come at least once <clears throat> a week all year. We did a lot of activities, including setting up the gym for chapels, various programs, and all other exciting things. We really enjoyed serving and growing with, the, with our awesome servant leaders, students, and look forward to the coming years as well. At this point, we'd like to recognize our underclassmen student government representatives. For the ninth grade, we had Molly Evans, Lucy King, John Michael Meadows, Finley Ross, and Shelby Smith. In the 10th grade, Avery Bays, Hope Bless, Pearson Finley, Ella Lawson, Ava Rogers, and Mallory Swink. And in the 11th grade, we had Rebecca Brown, Michael Kordak, Brianna Garcia, Alex Mamula, Ali Stroud, Arda Tabrizi, and Nate Watson. We also look forward to recognizing our senior officers and representatives at baccalaureate. Hey, amazing freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. I wanted to just kind of share a couple of words with you as we um, celebrate you and this amazing year that it's been an amazing year. And God has really brought us through it. It's been hard and trying, but creative, creatively different than any of us would have ever dreamed that we would be going through this year. But God, and that's the main thing. He is so good and has been with us every step of the way. I know you've felt him just like I have felt him. But as you finish out this year strong, this creative year, remember that you are loved, you are prayed for, and every one of us as teachers cannot wait to get back to seeing you every day at school and being in person, teaching you and talking to you in the hallways and the lunchrooms and that God has a plan in all this and just continue. And congratulations on finish, finishing this good year, this tough year in a strong, mighty way. Love you guys. Hello and welcome to the athletics part of our program. Uh, we're gonna start out with our tri-letter awards. In a day of specialization in athletics, it's a unique athlete who can letter in more than one sport. This next award honors those all-around athletes who have lettered in three or more sports while at NCCS. Our first one is Rebecca Brown for cross country, basketball, track and field. Our next is Maddie Butler, volleyball manager, swimming, track and field. Next is Cole Carden, football, swimming, track and field. Next, Riley Greaves, softball, basketball, and baseball manager. John Greer, football, wrestling, track and field. Garrett Hamilton, cross country, swimming, track and field. Caitlin Morning, competition cheer, swimming, and soccer. And lastly, we have Elizabeth Shaler, cross country, soccer, track and field. Next part of our program, we will recognize our Positive Athlete Award. Positive Athlete is an organization that operates in awards and recognition program across the state of Georgia. The program was started by a UGA standout, Heinz Ward, who later become, became an, ath, an outstanding receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. This program missions to celebrate high school athletes and coaches who give back and are involved in their schools and communities. The scholarships for our region are the Delta Airlines Scholarship, the Northside Hospital Leadership Award, the LGE Community Credit Union Extra Credit Award, and the Cobb EMC Positive Energy Award, Stars and Strikes Garner Award, the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta Hope and Will Award, and the USTA Positive Athlete Scholarship. One of our underclassmen, student athletes, was named a finalist for one of this year's scholarship awards. 
The Positive Athlete Scholarship finalist is Nate Watson. Congratulations, Nate. Hey, you guys, just wanted to say I'm so proud of all that you've done these last few weeks. What a crazy time. And you guys have just stepped right up and, and jumped in with both feet, and I'm so proud of you. I hope that um, you have great plans for the summer and just to enjoy um, something different and to uh, enjoy your time off. And I miss you terribly. I miss hearing your laughter and your crazy conversations in the hall and um i just hope you're doing well so i wish you the best and um hope to see you soon take care have a great summer good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the arts portion of the award ceremony this evening i'd like to thank mrs strange for the opportunity we'll be presenting the underclassmen arts awards this evening if you're interested in senior awards please visit us july the 8th at baccalaureate and we will celebrate the seniors then my name is Matthew Hendricks and I'm the Arts Director and I'm going to start us off this evening with the Theater Awards. The Upper School Theater Rising Star Award goes to Bryson Maycumber. The Christian Leadership Award goes to Will Crawford. And the Best Actor in a Supporting Role goes to Abel Yared for his portrayal of Chef Louis in The Little Mermaid. For the Academy Actors, the Rising Star Award goes to Max Thompson. The Christian Leadership Award goes to Brianna Garcia. The Male Performer of the Year Award goes to Mr. Mason Morrow. And the Female Performer of the Year goes to Ms. Rebecca Van Kirk. My name is Craig Godfrey and I'll be presenting the Band Awards. For Concert Band, our rising star this year is Blake Gregson. For Christian Leadership, we have Mr. Jack Heipel. In Mastery Band, our rising star is Ava Rogers. And our director's award goes to Tyler Nichols. Hey, I'm Amy Wallace, uh, giving out the rising star award in chorus. The award goes to Carson Groom. And in Academy Singers, it goes to Lindsay Nichols. Okay. My name is Nate Rupp. Uh, I now would like to present the rising artist award. So congratulations to freshman Maggie Phillips. Hello, I'm Angela Badoff, one of the orchestra teachers. And I'm Debbie Brink. And I'd like to give out the awards for the Concert Orchestra Rising Star. That goes to freshman Gabe Fortson. And the Concert Orchestra Christian Leadership Award goes to freshman Abby Fortney. Our Concert Orchestra Director's Award goes to Rebecca Brown. And for our Mastery Orchestra, we have a Rising Star Award that goes to Lindsay Nichols. We have some other senior awards that will be given out at baccalaureate. Thank you. Now we've come to a special time in our ceremony as our upper school enjoys recognizing a group of outstanding students every year. And every year people say, what exactly does that mean? Is that the highest grade? Is it this particular action, that particular accomplishment? This is the way we love to describe our outstanding students. Our outstanding students are the students that immediately come to a teacher's mind for the way that they contribute to the good of the class. For some of these students, they may have the highest grade in the class. They may be the most improved in the class. They may be somebody just that the teacher can always count on. They also might be somebody that consistently goes above and beyond to help their classmates. Whatever the specific thing is for that student, we want you to know that these outstanding students have helped contribute to just a remarkable community here at North Cobb Christian. And I'm so grateful our department heads are gonna come forward and share with you the outstanding students for their departments. Hi, my name is Beth Clark. I'm the history department head here at North Cobb Christian. And I would like to start off by apologizing because I look back over these past few weeks and I come to the day when Bryce Crawford got me on World Star. And I believe that civilization may just not have been ready for Mama Clark on that kind of stage. So I think I broke the world and I'm so sorry for that. But Mama Clark is gonna stay in her classroom from now on. Um, normally in class, I would be telling students to suck it up and quit whining. Well, my history department teachers and I, Courtney Stewart, Emily Siller, Angela Heights, we have been having to tell ourselves, suck it up and quit whining. Um, this has certainly been some very unique times. I have found myself saying things a little differently. Normally, 
I would be snatching a hat off someone's head in the hall. Now I'm having to ask, can you put a shirt on? Sometimes students walk in and say, Ms. Clark, do we have to do anything today? After they get the Mama Clark glare. But now I hear, how long do we have to be on Zoom today? I used to say, hey, can you take off your hood so I can see your pretty face? Now I have to say, turn on your camera so I can see your pretty face. I used to say, are you sneaking AirPods? Now it's, are you playing video games? So it's just same problems, different situation. But through it all, we have some students who have um, excelled a lot in history this year, and we would like to honor them. For U.S. government, Benjamin Sutton. For world history, Anna Sward. For AP Euro, Ella Lawson. For U.S. history, Elizabeth Hicks and Elena Smith. For AP U.S. history, Bailey Wells and Joey Migliori, for psychology, Tanya Vasilieva, for sociology, Rachel Shaparo. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Cassie Carr, and I am the department head for the math, business, and technology departments. Um, and it is my pleasure to be uh, here just to really tell you guys that what an amazing job you've done. Um, students, you guys have really risen to the occasion in this really kind of odd um, transition that we had, but man, you guys just stepped up. Uh, so just really proud of you guys. Uh, miss seeing all of you in the halls and, and um, in the classroom, uh, but it's, it's, I'm so thankful for technology that we could at least see, see faces. Um, but miss y'all and, and just so proud of all of you. Um, I'm super blessed to work with an amazing team of teachers uh, that I know have, have worked so hard to, to help you guys have the, the best um, situation that we could have, uh, but just really proud of the way you guys have just hung in there, stepped up, um, and probably learned some actually really valuable skills along the way uh, with technology and um, time management. So uh, awesome job, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the business department, uh, outstanding students. In intro to marketing, Abby Hart. Accounting, Nicholas Williams. In finance, Sabina Tong. For the math department, Algebra 1, Amelia Barr. For geometry, Nina Marie Givart. In honors geometry, Bethany Akinola. Algebra 2, Chloe Hildreth. Honors Algebra 2, Ben Martin. Honors Pre-Calculus, Avery Bays. College Algebra, Anna Sward. For College Pre-Calculus, Nate Watson. And for the Technology Department, in Computer Graphics 1, Benton Williams, and Kenzie Masoudpour. For web design, Elizabeth Hicks. Programming one, Isaiah Carter. For programming two, Mac Dempsey. For C3, which stands for Collaboration, Computers, and Cloud, Avery Bays. For CAD one, Chloe Hildreth. CAD 2, Evan Poole. Congratulations, guys. You've done an outstanding job. Uh, my name is Evan McDonald, and I'm the Foreign Language Department Head here at North Cobb Christian School. And I just want to take a second to first thank our foreign language faculty who have done just an amazing job throughout this year. I've had many opportunities to go into classrooms this year and just see the creativity and the love for language and culture that Ms. Peterson, Senora Peterson, and Ms. Dignan just share in our foreign language department. I also wanna thank our students. It's been an amazing year. Uh, when I think of star students, I, I think of a really, really long list of students that we have. 
I appreciate them. I appreciate their creativity, especially during this virtual learning time. I've seen many sombreros in the background. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, so thank you all. So here are outstanding students for the foreign language department. In French one, Daniel Morgan. French two, Carson Grew. In honors French three, Rachel Turnbow. In Spanish one, Hannah Reed. Uh, in Spanish two, for Senora Peterson is Ben Martin. For Spanish two, for my class, Levi Brown. You may know him as Levi. And then for honors Spanish three, Abby Corazon Hart. Thank you. Hey, my name is Allison Epp, and I'm the science department head. Um, so when I started teaching here, um, uh, the verse that I put in my classroom uh, wall was Psalm 24, 1, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. And that's been our foundation for the science department. Um, I've got an excellent team there, and our goal is to encourage students to see God and his creation and understand the natural world. And so that's what we've strived to do in the ways that we've um, brought science to life for them. So today we wanna celebrate a few students who have really um, embraced that this year. So we're gonna start with biology. Our outstanding student for biology, John Michael Meadows and Elizabeth Shaler. For honors biology, Jaden King, Chloe Clark, and Ava Crook. Our outstanding students for physics, Sabina Tong. For chemistry, Annika Klingman. Honors Chemistry, Abby Hart, Bailey Wells, and Avery Bays. For AP Chemistry, Arda Tabrizi. For Environmental Science, Emma Franklin. In STEM, for the research class one making, it's Anna Sward. Robotics 1, Anna Sward. Robotics 2, Michael Kordak. And for AP Physics, Alice Sun. Congratulations, everyone. Good evening, everybody. My name is Matthew Hendricks, and I'm the Fine Arts Director here. Wherever you are, I hope you're comfortable and not dressed up like I am and enjoying this evening. Certainly, this has been a strange season, but I wanted to take just a few seconds and celebrate all of our directors and teachers, they have done a phenomenal job, not just in the arts department, but across all of them. Um, anticipating virtual performance was something we never even considered, and here we are in the midst of it, and we've made a somewhat seamless transition, and I chalk that up to the determination and the heart and the mindset of all of our wonderful directors and teachers, so thank you. And students as well, it's been a crazy year, and uh, you've done really well. You've fit right in, and I couldn't be more proud of you, so thank you. I'm here today to read the outstanding students for the Fine Arts Department. We'll start off with Upper School Chorus, and it is Rachel Turnbow. Honors Upper School Chorus is Allie Stroud. Advanced Choral Ensemble, Mariah Fungoing. Music Theory One, Ava Rogers. Music Theory 2, Brad Scott. Honors Consort Orchestra, Rebecca Brown. Mastery Orchestra, Ava Crook. Concert Band, Cole Carden. Mastery Band, Ava Rogers. Music Technology, Tyler Nichols. Theater Arts 1, Benjamin Sutton. Theater Arts 2, Aaron Brown. Technical Theater, Will Crawford. Chekovian Acting, Rebecca Van Kirk. 3D Design, Pearson Finley. And Drawing, Maggie Phillips. Photography 1, Taylor Ray. Photography 2, Justin Smith. Painting, Grace Granado. And finally, art history, Madeline Butler. 
Hi, my name is Christy Sanders, and I am the department of the Physical Education Department, as well as the Exercise Science Academy Director. I want to say thank you to all of our teachers during this virtual learning and the amount of effort and time that they've put in to bring a twist to the learning experience in your own home. So thank you, teachers in, in our department. I want to take the time now to recognize the outstanding students for the PE Health and Exercise Science Academy. For outstanding student for girls fitness, that goes to Chloe Clark. For boys personal fitness, outstanding student goes to Reed Moreland. The outstanding student award that goes to the boys health, that would be Jaden King. The Outstanding Student Award that goes to the Girls' Health, that is Marissa Sarasoli. The Outstanding Student for the Strength Training Girls' Class, that goes to Molly Woolridge. The Outstanding Student that goes to, in the Athletic Training Class, goes to Riley Hughes. The outstanding student for the sports management class goes to Joshua Clay. I'd like to end quickly with a word of encouragement to all of our students that we taught this year in the physical education department. And I wanna thank you students for the laughs the small discussions, the small talks, as we went through this year together. Even through the virtual learning, we were still able to experience some of those small touches that warmed our hearts. We challenge each of you to take what you have learned about your health and your fitness and continue to apply throughout your year and throughout your life. I'm extremely impressed with the fitness students and the, the warmth and the encouragement that they've given me through virtual learning, how they've continued to exercise, not only during our class time, but on their own. So congratulations and thank you students for being a joy to teach this year. Hey everybody, it's Miss Browning. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there in person today, so I thought I would just send a special shout out from home. Um, I know this year has just a lot of curveballs have been thrown at us and it's been a bit unexpected, um, but I know that God has such a good plan in all of this and when we get to the other side, we'll just give him all the glory for it. Um, I know I had an especial curveball just as our little Maggie got here a bit earlier than we thought. Um, so uh, thank you guys for just all of your love and support um, that you, my NCCS family has meant so much to me in this time. And um, I really appreciate all the prayers and love and support uh, that we felt as we were getting ready to welcome our new little girl. Um, and I wanna say an especial thank you to all of my students this year for just being there with me through the ups and downs of pregnancy. You guys did a wonderful job and just really helped me uh, keep going this year. So I, I love you guys and I appreciate that. And I just can't wait till see you all again and just give you a big hug and just know that you'll always be in my heart and mind and I'm not going to be far away. I uh, also want to give a special shout out to the English team, um, Mrs. Swank, Mr. Arnold, Ms. Cook, Ms. Jarvis. Um, you guys have just been the most wonderful co-workers, especially during all this time. And, um, you know, you, you've just continued to work so hard and love your students well. And I just couldn't have asked for a better group of people to work with. So I love you very much. Um, and um, so now to the reason why, why we're here, just a congratulations to all the outstanding students this year. All the work that you put in uh, has not gone unnoticed. And uh, just congrats on um, just doing a good job. And I hope you feel loved and supported. Uh, so for Honors English 9, we have Riley Pruitt. And for English 9, we have John Michael Meadows. Congrats to you guys. Uh, for ELL Intro to Lit, we have Sally Kim. 
Congratulations. For Honors World Lit, we have Anna Sward. And for World Lit, we have Levi Brown. Good job, guys. I'm super proud of you. For Honors American Lit, we have Kara West. And for American Lit, we have Brock Gowans. Good job, guys. Uh, for American Lit ELL, we have Agnes Young. And for AP Lit, we have Nate Watson. Um, Sin Pretty in Pink, a congratulations letter for making it to Outstanding Student. You will know what I'm talking about, Nate Watson. Tell Grace to watch out for the cereal. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I love you guys very much, and uh, I hope that you stay safe and well and thankful uh, for everybody you have around us. See you later. Bye. Hello. I am Rachel Hedges, the head of the Bible department, and I'm here to present the awards for outstanding students in Bible. Uh, even though I do not teach any of the young people I am about to recognize, I feel like I have been a witness to your growth this past year. Your teachers frequently share things about you in our prayer times together. They talk about the contributions that you have made in class. They talk about the great work you've done on your projects. And they also talk about the leadership that you have shown in your classes. I know I can speak for all of your Bible teachers when I say, very well done. The outstanding student in New Testament survey is Bethany Akinola. In church history, it is Ava Crook. In literature of the Old Testament era, Trip Upton. For ethics, Pearson Finley. In theology survey, Alex Mamula. For world religions, Tyler Nichols. And for New Testament, for English language learners, Tanya Vasilieva. And I want to give a special congratulations to our outstanding teacher cadet, Molly Woldridge. And our final awards this evening are our Christian Character Awards. And in so many ways, I think I would have to describe this as the highest honor at North Cobb Christian because honestly, anytime someone can be recognized for emulating the character of Christ, that, that is the, that's the highest compliment. That's the most humbling statement that we can make. So our Christian Character Awards go to students who have made a con positive contribution to the family at NCCS in a way that impacts academics, arts, athletics, and student life. And I wanna let you know that our faculty and staff have, uh, have kind of helped us select these because they see our students in so many different areas, whether it's in the classroom or it's the way they come into the business office, it's the way they handle themselves in the parking lot, between classes, the way they serve other students. So uh, a number of our Christian Character Awards will be going to our seniors and we will recognize those in July. But this evening, I'd like to go ahead and recognize two Christian Character Awards that were given to underclassmen. The Joshua Award is given to the student who has demonstrated the quality of courage that we see in the life of Joshua. Do not let the book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything that is written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Joshua 1 8. Congratulations. Tanya Vasaliva. The next Christian Character Award is the Philip Award. The Philip Award is given to the student that has demonstrated the qualities of building bridges and crossing divides to live out and share the gospel of Christ found in the biblical character Philip. Thank you for your positive contribution to the student body at NCCS. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed to them the Christ, so there was much joy in that city. Acts 8, 5, and 8. Congratulations, Rachel Turnbow. And as we wrap up our time of our virtual underclassmen awards for this year, again, I just want to say I'm so proud of you. There's a lot of you that you receive some type of recognition this evening, whether it's academics, arts, athletics, or student life. And there's a number of you out there that you would say, hey, maybe my name wasn't called tonight, but I can look back and reflect over this year and see how much 
I've grown. I want to let you know we celebrate that. We're so grateful for the way that the Lord is working in and through all of our students. And again, we just want to say thank you so much for your incredible partnership this year. We look forward to seeing you guys on campus tomorrow as we do our car line uh, drop off and pick up time. Please know that we cannot wait until we are gathered again in person. We've got a lot of hugs and high fives and elbow bumps to catch up on, but we love you guys. I'm so proud of you, and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Congratulations. Hey, it's always fun to see our, our students come across the stage and receive awards, and I know you're doing that virtually this year, but uh, God has just blessed us with a very talented group of uh, students, and so whether that's in the academic arena or athletics or uh, character or fine arts, just to really appreciate uh, the, the way that uh, we're able to honor all of those things here at North Cobb Christian School. I just want to commend the student body for the way you've handled yourself during this uh, unique uh, period of time in our world's history. Uh, nobody would have ever expected it. Nobody could have predicted it, but you guys have just handled yourself with grace and dignity. Uh, so many bitterness or different emotions could have, could have seeped in because of a lost event or a sport. And I think we've just really pulled together nicely as a community. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate that. It's been a tough journey in some ways for uh, the faculty and staff, for parents, for kids. It's also been a journey that has taught us a lot and reminded us of, us of a lot. And so I just hope it's been a real character developing time for each of you. I hope you enjoy a, a good summer where you can reflect and and uh, just take introspection of your own life and just really spend some time with the Lord and, and just ask some good questions about uh, where you are in your journey uh, with him and, and what he has for your future and just to seek his plans. And uh, we look so forward to being back in the fall and uh, barring some edict, I want you to know we plan on being back in the fall, full steam, full tilt ahead, back to uh, what will probably be a little bit of a new normal, but uh, we really want to be back together and, and be back as a part of this community. So uh, if I were to leave you with a challenge this summer, uh, in everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. And so I just want you guys to focus on that. Don't let other things creep in. Make good decisions. Uh, appreciate your friends and family, hug on them, and just uh, really ask the good questions about what was the purpose of this season of your life, that we might all be better people, that we might uh, draw folks to the gospel. So congratulations to everybody that received something publicly, and for those that didn't receive something, because uh, internally, you know what your effort is, you know what your gifts are, and I'd encourage you to keep striving for the high call. So have a great summer. God bless you. We love you.